Welcome to Shortview Trading. This is your morning market hit for Friday the 6th of March. What matters today for traders? So those high levels of intraday volatility have continued yesterday with more wild swings on Wall Street and the major global stock markets of the world. That has led many to conclude that we're in a bear market and indeed one should therefore run for the hills. But actually there are other phases of high intraday volatility during this bull market of the last 10 years. Yes, of course, they're during crisis phases in the stock market and the global economy, but the actual long-term bull trend continued. Those phases include the currency crisis in August 2015 and the two phases of the euro crisis in mid-2010 and summer 2011. Indeed, the VIX closed last night just shy of 40%, which was a level it reached in August 2015 and a level it surpassed in those two phases of the euro crisis. What's intriguing about the euro crisis is after the initial sharp wave of selling over a couple of weeks, the market then moves sideways in a very choppy, high volatility environment, really for a couple of months, multiple weeks. And indeed, what happens in those phases is correlations amongst major market asset prices go to one. The environment becomes dominated by risk off, or risk on. And in that environment, risk appetite models, which pick that up, are very good at trading the swings. You can see from the chart in front of you now, the combined risk appetite model that we put together every day, combined RAG1 and RAG2, during the Euro crisis phase in 2010, after the initial sell-off in May, correlated very well with the market for a number of several weeks, couple of months. With a combined risk appetite model today, just up from strong buy, we're inclined to keep trying to play the long side of this trade, but looking for weakness to give us entry points. For full details on how we're playing this market, please see today's daily rag available to subscribers on the website. So what are we watching today? Well, of course, we continue to watch price action across a range of markets closely. Secondly, there's some key macro out today, including US non-farm payrolls, one of the biggest monthly data points. Over and above that, it's the second day of the OPEC meeting in Vienna. There was a lot of chat out yesterday, some rumors of a one and a half million barrel per day cut. More on that today is expected. Whilst over and above that, there's a number of key speeches from Fed governors today, including Williams, Mester and Bullard. That was your morning market hit for Friday the 6th of March. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook and or Twitter. Thank you.